Hi, I'm Chris Diamantopoulos, and I am in Waitress, and I'm here to play Never Have I Ever, and I never, ever have played Never Have I Ever. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss rhyme. I'm gonna have to go with no, I haven't. I'm a little bit of a clean freak. It's, it's pathological. Um, yeah, I, uh, I like to keep it clean down below. Yes, I have lied about my occupation. Um, like George Costanza in Seinfeld, I have, uh, I have also wanted to be an architect. Um, I haven't used the moniker Art Vandalay like he does, but uh, there have been a few times where, um, where on a, on a form profession is you know, either designer or architect because I just feel like it looks cool. I'd like to be able to build things, but I'm all fine. Yeah, once, and I'll never do it again. It was fun on the one hand, but also just a kind of a sad view of humanity. No, fortunately, I haven't had the cops show up at my door, and I'm, you know, highly paranoid. So if that were to happen, I, I might be dead before they, you know, even got to knock on the door. I was doing Les Mis. This was 20 years ago, and <laughs> I didn't know how to cook, but I was hungry, and I didn't have. I had like a couple of eggs in the in the fridge, and so I wanted to boil an egg, and I put an egg in the pot with the water, and I started boiling it. And then the phone rang and something happened, and I left. I went to the show. I went out that night with friends. I may or may not have met a young lady at a bar. When we were coming home, I tried to unlock the door, and my key <laughs> wouldn't fit in the lock because the fire department had been there to kick open the door because of the fire that had been caused by the egg. But the place was it just reeked of smoke and egg. But these are the things you have to, you know, deal with when you're a young kid in a big city. No, with the caveat that maybe in a highly, in a rare, highly intoxicated or inebriated moment, I may have dribbled a little but not to any sort of, uh, you know, uh, a public display. Uh, no, I've never, I've never peed my pants. Yes, every night, you gotta come see Waitress. I fell into the front row, face into the crotch of one of the lucky audience members, and then just splayed onto the first four people, got the prescription, hoisted myself back up on stage and gave it to Sarah. I have worked with people, high level people, who mouth your words when you're in a scene with them. What the f is that about? I'm in a scene and we're talking. Oh, are we talking? Yes, oh, we're talking. And the other person, as I'm saying, hey, check out how I'm speaking, is doing this. is that? And they're being paid money to act. Anyway, not cool. Oh yes, yes, many times. Um, I find it's easier to perform being on your deathbed when it's uh, television than, than when it's theater. The one vocal job that I'm able to do even when I lost my voice is Mickey Mouse. I could be I could have bronchitis, I can be, you know, not able to phonate, and I'll still be able to go, oh, oh, for some reason, I don't know. 